Hello, I parked my car on this train track here because it is the last, hopefully, tour and explore down the line following the train line. Let's go! And if I had skills in editing, this is where I'd be going into a cutscene for Honey Badger GNL. Uh. So yeah, um, hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel, um, if you're new to this channel, uh, welcome to something that I call Tour and Explore, where I explore a map in a video game, I've chosen GTA, I know the map pretty well. And we're going into graphic detail. We explore every single nook and cranny. It's on a playlist, so you can watch them all in order. Uh, so yeah, this was my first pr proper project, I think. That and my Minecraft Let's Play. Uh, so we've been following the train line. We've been following the dock areas beforehand. And we just been walking with Michael during the day, during the night. It is that midnight now. So yeah, uh, to the last bit we've we've gone through the whole city and gone round up up at the top of the map. But so the last section of the track is where it splits off again. It follows the road and then it goes through this area and joins up. If you watch the previous video, go past here where it is like a oil kite thing um uh gas and then you got the quarry as well you got this goes past i think this goes past the wind farm so what you can see on the left coming up here right now so yeah so yeah that's that's tour and explore and a nut Shell. Well, what the? What the hell? What? Just. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what the? <laughs> Oh, we have to explore this. Someone's playing music. In the desert. Looks like there's some speakers. Well, good thing you're in the desert, man. But have you considered your other caravan people? He just he just started playing music as I was walking past. I can't stay anyway. Got that music most likely copyrighted, so I can't stay put. If you guys can hear it, but. <laughs> Fair play to him, he is in the desert, but <laughs> but you still got other people nearby, so you have to really, and it's one in the morning, like, you're in... <laughs> it's one in the morning, bro, like, if you're, if you're in the desert by yourself, in the middle of the desert, fair play, but you're camping with other people, I don't think they really want to hear you playing your music at one o'clock in the morning. Like, I, I, I don't know, but I, I, I don't think... I, I really don't think that's necessary. I suppose if they didn't like the music, they could hitch up their caravan and drive away, but that's not really on to them. They shouldn't have to do that. 
just because you want to get you know up and up and with it with your music I uh, that's a bit disrespectful I, I'm not gonna lie like if we were out here in the desert right in the middle of nowhere yeah but crank those tunes up party all night you have to consider the other people bro train We're gonna do some train sim later. Uh, if we don't do it today, we'll do it on Saturday, but hopefully we'll do it some later. And we're gonna do the train sim where the last train of the underground, and then we're also gonna do something special. And we're gonna be a passenger as well. That'll be live stream at seven o'clock after this, after this pre-record. Seven o'clock on the dot. Maybe a bit after seven. I don't know. Between seven and eight, we're going live. What? Well, actually, I just need to have a look. Oh, because I've been doing Roman numerals. What is the? It will be Honey Badger live. Get my. Turn my phone mute. Do that so you don't have. Honey Badger Live Once Honey Badger Live 13 Nice, we're on Honey Badger Foot Live 13 So, yeah There will be another one we probably won't be able to explore The only thing we won't be able to explore Is the prison, we can explore like nearby it, bro that's the only thing we won't be able to explore is the prison. We explore the outskirts and the stuff. But we can't actually go in unless we want to, you know, have a gun match with the prison guards. So, yeah. Oh, bunny rabbit, bunny rabbit, no! Oh, the bunny rabbit, man! Oh, he, he ran across the road and then ran back over the other side. Did you see that? Oh, the bunny! Times reading a text message. Okay. Sorry. I had a bit of poor text message. I do apologise. Uh, right. What? What? I managed to continue walking while I was texting. Uh, right. Well, we're, so the prison's on the right. Uh, so yeah.
Um, and the wind farms on the left, and we kind of follow the road for a bit. How much further is it to not that much further until the to the to it joins back up again? Probably get how long have we I've probably been recording for give it like five minutes. So that's fine. So yeah. I had a so I had a text message what I couldn't ignore so I had to reply back. Anyway, we'll continue walking. So I've got the road, uh, what's going northbound on the right there. Bear with me. Multitasking here. Let's tell the person. I don't get there's a deer on the on the track. Look, there's two deers. Look at that deer on the track. Look at that near the tracks. Oh, here we go. Skip, skip. Uh. Look, they climbed up the hill. Maybe they should get some gates on this track so the deer don't get jump in front of the train. So yeah, we haven't explored this area so I thought, oh well, we explore this area. You hear the uh, whooshing of the uh, windmills if you listen carefully. We've got traffic on the on the right and the whooshing on the on the left. Yeah, the sun's came up now, hasn't it? It's been up for an hour. I like this. It's quite nice. You know, apart from the busy traffic, of course. Uh, but the uh, the line itself is quite nice.
I think I like to get that German mountain road route on Train Sim World 2. There's a new one coming out. I looked at the uh, images of what's coming out, and there's like this desert, desert one, American desert one, would be pretty cool. Deserts are normally quite boring, but because there's like miles on end of nothing to see. But when we think of deserts, we think of sand. We think of the Sahara Desert. But the like the Californian desert and then the uh, the outback desert in Australia are quite pretty because there's like mountainous rocks and the Cal California desert has like what we see here, what's all shrubbery and stuff. This is GTA is actually based off the um uh, based in California so it's obviously gonna be close to the California desert. So but how it's all mountainy and a bit trees, but it, 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 deserts can be pretty. You know. And I, I think there is some beauty in something what's a bit wastelandy, a bit deserted, a bit. There's no people around, so it makes it more peaceful in a way. You know, the biggest desert in the world is actually the, the Antarctic and the, the South Pole. You don't think that as a desert because it's all snow ice but the South Pole is quite interesting because it's not just a desert it's also an archipelago because if you get rid of all that snow and ice mainly ice the land itself where the South Pole is is all archipelago islands it's all you know if global warming gets really bad all the north, all the poles change. You know what they are slowly doing. Every million years, they are slowly, or hundred years, they are slowly moving the. You know, uh, you could see a nice tropical archipelago in the South Pole. So yeah, that German one on the mountain, the mountain would probably be quite nice too. Yeah. There's a new German train coming out. What? It's it's quite dull to be honest. It's it's by what looking at the pictures, it's similar to all, all the ones we've had before. They've hinted towards steam trains are coming to trains as well too. And. Um, yeah, and I can't wait for that. I want to know what they're going to do. I've had some ideas. Of course, they've already probably done it. But I've got my own ideas, and they can always have it next. Um, so, yeah. Oh, actually, um, thinking about it, um, what, uh, this reminded me, uh, uh, you, you guys have said that you have trouble finding my, uh, YouTube, um, page, and some capital letters, so make sure you, if you want to tell your friends, maybe just for now, put the capital letters in, what I might do is, I might link my channel in the comment section so I don't know because I do it for the live streams I always put my link of my channel in the um, well if you find it you don't need to link it you because you could just click subscribe can't you so yeah never mind never mind dumb idea No, I think I'm going to keep my name. My name's going to stay. I was just thinking, should I get rid of some capital letters? Watch out, dear. 
Oh, okay. I've got train on the left, road on the right. This kid on the wildlife, man. Like, no, you need you need gates, really. I think it's just. As ugly as that is, it's just, it's gonna kill the wildlife and, you know, damaging for the train, it kills the wildlife, it's, you know, we have to think about animals, you know, the environment is, it's, is ever, if the environment is out of whack, then we die. Simple as that. Yeah. Oh, look at that whooshing of the wind turbines. Whoosh. Do you know these tours and explorers are in the desert walking are very philosophical, aren't they? Very, I do go into deep thinking. It's the same with train sims. Well, you know, I do talk very, you know, topics. Really. Yeah. Look at this road network on the right. Look how it like you got swoops and it swoops up and it swoops down and it curves down. That infrastructure, bro, and the losing the landscape and to you got the busy cars on the top and then you got the the cut downs and cuts off. It's pretty pretty interesting. Going over the, uh, going over the road. Look, there's more road underneath us. Road and road and road. And then train line. And then big, massive wind farms. Do you know, the, it was interesting when they were, when they're building wind farms, it's like... Well, the, the people who are against wind farms would like think of the birds. The birds might, well, get smacked into the wind farm. But the thing is, like, birds are clever. You know, when they build skyscrapers, they, uh, I don't think many birds knock themselves into, you know, into skyscrapers. And the fact is, it's, it's moving as well. They're not. Uh, you know how often you drive it along your car and a bird hits you now I'm gonna give the only bird what hits it is the oh, hello, plane the only the only bird where well, it's the car in the, in the UK is a pheasant because pheasants are not bright they, they, they wait for the last second to cross the road and they cross the road they panic and then they might, oh no, I changed my mind, and they run back the other way and then they get hit. And so, yeah. Apart from, apart from the pheasant, how often does a bird, oh, there's a rabbit, be careful crossing the road. Don't, don't, don't come back. There's a train coming, Mr. Rabbit. Don't cross. See, see, it's the exact same with the pheasant. The pheasant and the rabbits are dumb, dumb animals. I'm sorry, they may be cute, but they're dumb. They just went over the line. And went, nah, I changed my mind. Don't cross the track, Mr. Rabbit. You might get killed like the other bunny bunny. Like, it's like... Uh, you heard about animal instinct and, you know... And, and all that lot, surely by now the animals know what a road is or what a train track. Surely, don't, don't, when the rabbit goes off to get berries and carrots, 
doesn't the mum rabbit say, you know, make sure you look both ways before crossing the road or crossing the train track? You remember what happened to Flopsy? Yeah, rip. You know. We only got Mopsy and Cottontail left, but Flopsy, she just went for it. <laughs> yeah. Right, how much further do we have to go? Oh, we're, we're almost there. We got almost there. Ah. Poor Flopsy. She just like, she really wanted the berries that day. And she had to cross the train track, you know. Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail, three rabbits. And they cross this railway line every day and night. And she didn't look. You know, she didn't look, she didn't look, listen. She ignored her mother's advice. And uh, she, she just crossed the, she crossed, the, she crossed the train track and the train came and Flopsy unfortunately passed away and this is why when you're ever at a train track you always look yeah so and now Mopsy and Cottontail have lost their sister because the train has unfortunately trains cannot stop they cannot stop in time they can't swerve like cars. You know, you see the track, you think the train. So yeah, Mr. Rabbit, you know, back there, when we saw the rabbit got run over. And once you cross the track, don't go back. And if you need to go back, look, listen, be aware, train track, train. So yeah. <sighs> right. We're almost we're almost gonna merge with the other track, it's just down there. Got Probably been uh, almost half an hour. I've just about got enough time. I have to make sure I make sure I don't run over the clock. I don't. I've never actually like done the whole hour because yeah. Oh look, there's a rabbit. These rabbits just don't learn, you know. Mind you, I'm not doing the best example. I'm walking next to a train line myself, so, you know. Look, there's another rabbit. There's another rabbit. Look, Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail. Oh wait, yeah, we got forgot Cottontail passed away. <laughs> got hit by a train. Uh, there's another rabbit in the, in the story I'm referencing, but probably because there's a deep two movies based on him, it's probably copyrighted, so I can't mention it. Mind you, I probably could mention those. Ah, oh, screw it. Uh, all I'm going to say is there's a rabbit, there's a famous rabbit, um, who wears a blue jacket. 
and he's voiced by uh, uh, James Gordon. So, yeah. Right, well, uh, guys, we have merged. The other train line has emerged. We are now together. Well, once again, we have we have uh, finished tour and explore. We have you know these homeless people on the on the side. Maybe uh, yeah. Um, maybe it's best stop them they're enjoying watching trains but uh, uh make check the train the train's going no okay well um i've been um i've been uh honey badger thank you so much for watching we uh uh yeah that that's been uh, down the line guys we've done the whole train network we've done now we're going to uh be a different character we'll do the tram network in gta in the city so that will be a new tour and explore and then we'll finish and then we'll go back exploring everything else i think it's this area here after the tram network we'll figure out as we go along right uh for me and michael uh i like to say goodbye and uh, remember don't be like the rabbit when you see train think track okay